HF operation isn't just a hobby. It's an elegant interplay of science and art. This presentation breaks down the essential pillars that determine your success on the air. Whether you're chasing DX or experimenting with wire antennas, the goal is the same, understand and optimize. Each pillar that we will explore provides the building blocks for clean, effective, and rewarding HF operation. As we proceed, remember that mastery comes not only from gear alone, but from knowledge and practice. Let's dive into the anatomy of a high-performing HF station and uncover the physical science behind every QSO. Antenna design is the most critical pillar of HF operation. A well-chosen and properly installed antenna will outperform more expensive transceivers or amplifiers every time. Factors like resonance, ground interaction, and radiation pattern aren't just theoretical, they directly affect what you hear and who hears you. Understanding antenna types will help you choose the right one for your environment and goals. Whether it's a stealth and fed half wave or a full size loop, each antenna introduces unique characteristics. Modeling helps ensure you're not flying blind. Simulation software is your friend. It saves time and wire. Make antenna design your priority. A resonant, high, and well-matched antenna is the hallmark of a skilled HF operator. Propagation is both a science and a moving target. The ionosphere, energized by the sun, forms the medium through which our HF signals travel. Knowing the behavior of layers, like F2 during the day, or the absence of the D layer at night, can transform your operation strategy. Solar indices are more than just numbers. SFI tells you how charged the ionosphere is. The K and A indices measure its calmness or turmoil. Combine this knowledge with time of day effects and seasonal variation, and you can choose the right band for the right time. Don't operate blind. Use forecasting tools to know when and where the bands are open. Understanding propagation can mean the difference between a deaf silence and a surprise DX polyp. The transceiver is the nerve center of your HF station. Master and its functions transform you from a button pusher to a precision operator. Each control, RF gain, AGC speed, and filter width allows you to sculpt the incoming signal for clarity and intelligibility. On the transmit side, knowing how to set your ALC, mic gain, and compression ensures your signal is both punchy and clean. Overdriven audio and spurious emissions aren't just poor form, they're disruptive to the band. Filters, both analog and DSP-based, give you a scalpel to cut through the QRM. But always remember, just because you can filter doesn't mean you should over-process. A natural, clear signal is always more effective than a distorted one. Matching impedance is a cornerstone of efficient HF operation, yet it's often misunderstood. The tuner's job is to fool the transmitter into seeing a match, but it doesn't eliminate standing waves or power loss along a mismatched coax. Understanding the characteristics of different tuner types help you choose wisely. An L network may be more efficient but lacks flexibility while a T-network offers a broader range at the cost of additional loss. For amplifier users, Pi networks are standard for safe power handling. RF problems and efficiency drops often originate in poor matching or common mode currents. Ferrite chokes and proper use of balance or unun solve many of these issues instantly. Don't guess. Engineer your match for a real performance. A well-grounded, quiet HF station doesn't just sound better, it operates more safely and predictably. From lightning mitigation to taming RF feedback, proper grounding and filtering are often the difference between smooth QSOs and frustrating gremlins. Single point grounding is a best practice. All gear bonded to a common copper bus leading to an external ground rod. Adding inline lightning protection and disconnect protocols further secures your shack. Ferrite chokes stop unwanted RF on mic lines, USB cables, and coax. Finally, good cable management and a clean power supply complete the picture. These practices aren't glamorous, but they are essential for consistent, high-performance HF operation. The final piece of HF high-performance operation isn't a device. It's your mindset. Skillful operators think like engineers. They understand their gear, measure outcomes, and adapt. More importantly, they remain curious. When signals fade or noise spikes, they troubleshoot rather than complain. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars to make great contacts. What matters most is station discipline, propagation awareness, and making the most of your setup. The best operators aren't necessarily running kilowatts. They're thoughtful, strategic, and consistent. HF is a lifelong learning lab. Embrace each contact as a mini experiment. Stay curious, be methodical. That's the real magic behind the signals. 
At this point, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, post them below, and I'll do my best to respond.